electricity 5 cells in series in parallel series connection if two cells of emfs e1 e2 and internal resistance r1 and r2 assist each other then the total emf equals e1 plus e2 and the total internal resistance equals r1 plus r2 thus if two assisting cells have EMF of 2 volts and 6 volts and internal resistance 3 and 8 ohms respectively, the current flow when a resistor of 9 ohms is connected to them is given by I equals 8 divided by 20 equals 0 0.4 ohms. If one of these cells is turned around, the EMF is observed to oppose each other, but the total internal resistance is however unchanged. The new current is thus 4 divided by 20, which gives us 0 0.2 amps parallel connection. There is no general formula for the combined total EMF of cells in parallel. If two similar cells, say two electronic cells with EMF of 1.5 volts and internal resistance 2 ohms are in parallel with light poles joined together, then the total EMF equals the EMF of one cell, which is 1.5 volt. But the combined internal resistance R is that of two resistance, each two ohms in parallel. They would say that one over R equals one over R1 plus one over R2, which is one ohms. Let's have a problem. Two batteries each of EMF three volt and internal resistance four ohms to join in series and then in parallel. Calculate the current through each cell if a wire of two ohms is joined to each arrangement. Solution. In series, the total EMF equals 3 plus 3 equals 6 volts, and the total internal resistance equals 4 plus 4, which is 8 ohms. The current thus that flows through is 6 divided by 10, which gives us 0 0.6 amps. Then in parallel, we have the EMF equals 3 volts. Remember CVP? Then the internal resistance is given by 1 over r equals to 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4, which gives us 1 over 2, that is, r equals 2 ohms. So the current that flows in the parallel thing equals 3 divided by 4 equals 0 0.5 amps. You will notice that in the series case, the current of 0 0.6 amps flows through each battery, but in the parallel case, half the current of 0 0.75 amps flows through each battery as the current divides between the two. Hence, the current through each equals 0 0.375 amps. Comparison of EMF potentiometer. Accurate measurement of EMF or potential difference is done with a potentiometer. Using a potentiometer, an unknown EMF E2 can be found by comparing it with a known EMF E1. You see that the setup consists of a resistor wire PO of 1 meter long with an accumulator A connected to it. To maintain a constant current, to compare EMFs, one cell C is connected. Its positive pole is joined to the same terminal B as that of the positive pole of the accumulator A, and its negative pole is connected to its sensitive center zero galvanometer G to a jockey or slider which is moved along BO. When a balance point M is obtained, the EMF E1 of C is exactly balanced at V1 along the wire BM. Length L1 of BM is measured. Repeating with a cell of E2, a balance point of Vn is obtained. First, the relation E1 divided by E2 equals V1 V2 is applied. It is important to know that balance point in current I flowing through the accumulator through the wire is constant. Also, recall that V1 equals to I times R1 and V2 equals to I times R2 where I1 and R2 are the respective resistance of Bm and Bn of the wire, and the current I is constant. So on cancelling out the I's, we have E1 divided by E2 equals to R1 divided by R2. So since the length is proportional to the resistance, we have L1 divided by L2. Note, the moving coil voltmeter connected to a cell takes a small current from the cell and hence the reading of potential difference is not accurate with the EMF. But in the potentiometer method, no current is taken from the cell at the balance point, and 
depends the terminal potential difference measuring the saturated EMF. The potentiometer is useful in measuring the EMF of an unknown cell. It works with the variation of the potential difference with the length of wire. From the diagram, we see that G is the galvanometer that shows the balance point, and J is the jockey used to probe. If E1 is the EMF of a standard cell and L1 is the length attained on the wire, then the E1 can be replaced by E2, which is an unknown EMF, and a new length L2 can be gotten and substituted into the equation E1 divided by E2 equals L1 divided by L2. Let's solve a problem. An unknown EMF E2 is balanced at a length 50 cm on a potentiometer. If a standard EMF of 1.20 volt is balanced at 35 cm, calculate the EMF E2. Solution. The standard EMF E1 is 1.2 and the length is 35. The unknown EMF's length is 50 cm. So from E1 divided by E2 equals L1 divided by L2, we have the E2 equals 1.20 multiplied by 50 divided by 35, which gives us 1.46 volts. Wheatstone bridge. The Wheatstone bridge circuit consists of a resistor of unknown resistance Rx and three known resistors R1, R2, and R3, usually connected in the form of resistance boxes. So how does it work? One of the resistors, say Rx, is adjusted until the galvanometer G between M and N shows zero deflection, that is null deflection. This is known as the balance point. At this balance point, no current flows through 1 and 2 to the galvanometer. I repeat, at balance point, there is no current flowing through the galvanometer. So the potential at M must be equal to potential at N. So if R1, R2 and R3 are known, then Rx can also be known by making it the subject of the equation, such that we have Rx equals R3 multiplied by R2 divided by R1. The meter bridge. The Wheatstone bridge is used in construction of the meter bridge. An unknown resistance P can be measured with the bridge circuit using a known resistance Q of the same order of magnitude at a balance point. D. If L1 is the length AD and L2 is the length DC at a point of no deflection, then in P divided by Q equals L1 divided by L2, which is P equals Q times L1 divided by L2. If Q is 10 ohms and say L1 is 56.2 centimeters and L2 is 43.8 centimeters, then P equals 10 times 56.2 divided by 43.8 equals 12.8 ohms. Let's solve a problem. Find your known resistance P using a meter bridge circuit. A standard resistor Q, which is 5 ohms, is connected along arm BC. If the balance point D is 30 cm from A, what is the value of your known resistor P? Solution. Since the standard resistor is 5 and its length or balance point is 30 cm, and the unknown resistor has a balance point of 70 cm, the wisdom bridge balance point is thus given by P divided by Q equals to L1 divided by L2, which is P equals 5 times 30 divided by 70 equals 2.14 ohms. Note, the meter bridge is one form of Wheatstone bridge circuit. It uses a no deflection or null method of measurement. This is much more accurate than the voltmeter method of measuring resistance. This is because point instruments have zero errors, whereas the Wheatstone bridge uses the galvanometer only as a current detecting instrument and not a measuring one. Precautions While conducting the experiment, here are some precautions you should take. 1. Ensure that all connections are tight and secure. 2. The known and unknown resistance should be interchanged to obtain another set of resin for L1 and L2. 3. The known resistor should be chosen such that the balance point is fairly near the center of the wire. 4. Keep your key open when not taking reading. 5. A high protective resistance must be connected in series with the galvanometer. 6. Avoid parallax error on all measuring instruments. 7. You must repeat your readings. 
question time. Question 1. In an attempt to design an electrical device, you connect two ohms resistor to two identical cells of EMF 1.5 volt and internal resistance 1 ohms. Calculate the current in the circuit if your components are connected in one series, two in parallel. Question number two. In an attempt to find an unknown resistance Q using a middle bridge circuit, a 7 ohm standard resistor P is connected to arm along AB. If the balance point D is 42.5 cm from A, determine the value of the unknown resistance D. Question number 3. In a potentiometer circuit, a 1 meter long potentiometer wire PQ of resistance 10 ohms is connected in series with a cell of EMF 9 volts with internal resistance 3 ohms. Calculate 1. The potential difference across PQ and 2. The EMF of a cell which has a balance point of 75 cm. Question number 4. The galvanometer in a Wheatstone bridge circuit shows zero deflection. Calculate the resistance of R on the diagram.